Hello everyone. Now this is the third and final part of the Liturgy of the Eucharist and it also includes the concluding rite. Hello everyone. Because of its themes of daily bread and mutual forgiveness, the Lord's Prayer is the most appropriate preparation for Holy Communion so that what is holy may be given to those who are holy. The communion rite begins with the Lord's Prayer and continues through the prayer after communion. To introduce the Our Father, the priest in future will say, At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, And in the Deliver Us prayer after the Our Father, instead of asking protection from all anxiety, as we used to say, he will pray that we be safe from all distress. The prayer concerns the circumstances that cause distress, not the interior feeling of anxiety. Instead of saying, we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, the priest will say, we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. These words echo the letter of St. Paul to Titus in 2.13. The sign of peace follows, and after the Lord's Prayer, the priest prays for peace and unity in the Church. In this prayer, pronouns referring to the Church are feminine. This recalls the Church's image as the Bride of Christ. The sign of peace is optional, but it is normally exchanged. However, it should only be given to those nearest to you and in a sober manner. The fraction rite comes next, and the priest breaks the large host to signify that we are all part of one body, 1 Corinthians 10.17, because we all receive from the one loaf. One of the early names for the entire Mass was the breaking of bread. However, this action should not be unnecessarily prolonged or accorded undue importance, as sometimes happens. The priest puts a small piece of the bread into the chalice to signify the unity of Christ's body and blood in the work of our salvation. The Lamb of God is next. In the new translation, the priest shows the host to the people and says, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Behold the Lamb of God is closer to the Latin and sounds more majestic. It is also a more direct allusion to the words of John the Baptist in the Bible. The word happy has been changed to blessed. You may be blessed even when you are going through sorrow. Using the words the supper of the Lamb makes clearer the allusion to Revelation 19.9 in the scriptures. The reply of the people has a change. To receive you is changed that you should enter under my roof, an obvious allusion to Matthew 8.8, 8, where the centurion feels unworthy that Jesus should come to his house to heal his son. Like the centurion, we, as sinful creatures, also feel unworthy to receive our Lord in Holy Communion. In the previous translation, we used to say, that I shall be healed, now that is changed to, my soul shall be healed. I am not asking for a generic healing, but specifically the healing of my soul, which of course transcends all others. When the priest is receiving the Holy Sacrament, the communion chant is normally begun. The words, the body of Christ, stead, while distributing Holy Communion, are unchanged. Holy Communion should be consumed immediately on receiving it. The Communion rite concludes with a prayer after Communion. 
The body and blood of Christ should only be received by Catholics who are properly disposed. Ongoing repentance should be a common feature in the lives of Catholic Christians. Holy Communion will be more fruitfully received by those who are no strangers to private confession. And I don't mean general absolution, but no strangers to private confession, before which they should make a thorough examination of conscience. We all need to be on our guard against the deadly effects of routine. It was only after the prodigal son turned away from his sinful way of life and was reconciled with his father that a family feast, and he, that included the killing of the fatted calf, we'll call that communion, that that was in order, but not before that. According to church teaching, there are some states of life which deter one from receiving the Holy Sacrament, and you can find a fuller explanation of this in my YouTube channel entitled Can I Receive Holy Communion? Here are some words of wisdom from St. Padre Pio or St. Pio of Pietrasina. My dear daughter, I think that the Holy Eucharist is a great means through which to aspire to perfection. But we must receive it with the desire and intention of removing from the heart all that is displeasing to him with whom we wish to dwell. This is a letter to Maria Gargani in 1917. Holy Communion comes next, and an appropriate hymn sung by the people whilst coming up to receive Holy Communion should be the norm. Better still, though, are short verses from Scripture sung by the cantor in the form of a litany, with the people coming in on a repeated song response as they make their way up the church. And we know they don't need hymn books for this. After the distribution of Holy Communion, however, a period of silence is called for. This is very important. Pope Benedict observed quite an extended silence after Holy Communion during his Mass at Westminster Cathedral in 2010, if you remember. What also <coughs> goes down very well is an uplifting meditative song sung by the choir alone when everyone is seated and settled. The playing, however, of loud thumping music, organ or otherwise, during communion seems out of place and is not conducive to private prayer or to quiet prayer. And this happens quite a bit. I think most people will appreciate this. In the concluding rite, the revised rite stresses that the announcements should be brief and only given when necessary. Appeals may also be made at this point in the Mass, but I think it's best if they're kept short. I find long-winded appeals often tend to hijack the Mass, a bit like rambling sermons that don't ever seem to end. If the priest is using a solemn blessing, he will first say, Please bow your heads for the blessing. The people's answer to each of the blessings is the Hebrew word, Amen. When the priest dismisses the people, in the New Text, there are new forms. For instance, Go forth, the Mass is ended, or go and announce the Gospel of the Lord, or simply go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life, or go in peace. The people's response to all the above is, thanks be to God. The recessional hymn is optional and may be replaced by organ music. The Mass ends when the priest says, The Mass is ended. Go in peace. In fact, the Mass takes his name for this, from the Latin version of it, when it says, Ite missa est. Now, if there are 40 verses in a recessional hymn, 
some organists like playing them all. Why? Because they're on an ego trip and they have no thought for the congregation or even the poor priest. Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh.